guys welcome back to my channel thanks for clicking on another video in today's video i'm gonna take you to the gym with me because i am about to go and smash an upper body workout i'm not one of those people who you know just does hamstrings or just works something it's always a full body workout but it's more focused the main focus of today's workout is strengthening and toning my upper body it's gonna be good it's gonna be really good let me know if you like videos like this by the way i know that Usually I do home workouts, but I also know that a lot of you go to the gym, so I wanted to share more of my gym workouts too. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you like these, and I will keep them coming if so. Should I show you my outfit? Do you, do you want to see my outfit? I don't even know. I haven't put on my trainers yet, but this is my outfit of the gym. So I'm wearing this crop top, which is really old actually, it's from H&M. And um, these leggings from Gymshark, a bit newer. Again, this Gymshark jacket, which is just what I wear to the gym. I dyed my hair a little bit blonder. I don't know. It was kind of grey before but I've gone a bit blonder. I've got my bag there, my Nike bag, but the big one because I'm filming for you guys today. I love these leggings you guys. They are so nice. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the workout. Switching to voiceover in 3, 2, 1, let's go. All right, we're starting off with the warm up. So as usual, doing 10 minutes of low intensity steady state cardio, and then we'll move on to some dynamic stretches. Now today I am going on the cross trainer, putting the level up to level 10. Please ignore the fact that I am eating a protein bar while on the machine. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it, but I low key know my own body. And when I'm a bit hungry, when I just need a little sugar boost, I'll, I'll compromise and I will just eat while exercising but I wouldn't recommend that so yeah we do 10 minutes of the machine just keeping it going getting the heart rate up the blood flowing and then we move on to dynamic stretches so my stretches are always targeted to the workout that I'm going to be doing so as today is upper body focused the dynamic stretches are upper body focused so when I say dynamic what I mean is that we are moving we are moving around the range of that joint so the aim of the warm-up is to get my body doing the things that it's about to do while under pressure so say if I'm going to be moving weight I want to move through that range while there is no weight so I just want to make sure that my body is comfortable with what it's about to be doing before I add the extra intensity of the actual workout this helps to prevent injury and just lets me do my best just see the different type of ones that I'm doing and you can try them in your own workout but also feel free to just focus on what feels like it needs focus for you so listen to your body I know that sounds super vague but yeah seriously listen to your body sometimes you'll have a spot that's extra tight and um, sometimes you'll need to hang a little longer on one area do what feels good and then we move on to the main workout so we are doing supersets of pull-ups and dips AMRAP which is as many reps as possible so I'm doing as many pull-ups as I can and then I'm going and doing as many dips as I can and then I'm resting for three minutes and repeating that three times now you might be watching this like Sarah I can't do pull-ups and that's totally cool I couldn't always do pull-ups either I will never forget the first time I tried to do a pull-up and at this point I was you know training athletics quite a lot and so I really expected to be able to do it but I couldn't I was super weak and I could not lift one pull up uh, so I worked on it I started practicing I actually started using the machines that support you so the assisted pull up machines I'll put a picture in here as you can see I wouldn't really recommend those because they stabilize the body for you and actually allowing the free movement and, and using your muscles to stabilize yourself that's all part of the exercise so I'd recommend using resistance bands but I definitely learned using the assist machines and I would just do 10 reps and then I would decrease the amount of weight assisting me um, each time I went to the gym until I was able to do it freehand. Then we're moving on to the dips. The dips, you want to be coming down so that your triceps are parallel to the floor as you push yourself back up, getting a good range of motion, squeezing the core, squeeze the core a lot tighter than I did. Like, I'm just, yeah, I'm not engaging my core as much as I should be there. Uh, and just doing as many reps as you can. Again, you can use a exercise band to support you, so between your hands and your legs to kind of carry some of your body weight or you can use an assisted machine. I would recommend the bands over an assisted machine. That's definitely how I learned, just um, 
gradually decreasing the amount of support that I use to do these two exercises. I love these exercises because they are compound movements using multiple muscle groups and um, so we're getting a really good workout here. I don't know if you've noticed but I usually start off my workouts with the most intense and demanding compound movements so that I can give them my best while I'm the most fresh before moving on to the rest of the workout where we will target muscle groups individually and we are doing just that. So next part of the workout we are doing bicep curls, tricep pulls, standing flies and dumbbell rows. So we are doing these as a superset so we're not resting between each exercise, we're moving straight on to the next one, only taking the amount of time that it takes to move on to the next one. So using some dumbbells and um, just doing some bicep curls, keeping the elbows nice and still, the only movement should be in the forearm, core nice and tight, lifting that weight up and lowering it back down. You can do both arms at the same time. Then we're moving on to some dumbbell rows. So leaning against a bench, we're gonna lift that weight up, really targeting the lats here. So what I want you to think of is that you're actually lifting that tricep up to be in line with your body, um, rather than bending at the elbow. Your elbow will naturally bend, of course, but um, what you wanna be aiming to do is not narrowing that angle at the elbow too much and using your biceps too much on this. We're really trying to target the lats here so keeping parallel to the bench and um, keeping that leg nice and far back the leg that's on the floor make it nice and far back so you've got plenty of space to lift that weight up doing 12 on each arm what I'll say as well is many women sometimes are scared of moving weights because they're scared they'll get super jacked or just build loads of muscle really quickly. That won't happen <laughs> unless you're like an actual genetic anomaly, in which case you should probably go do some kind of competition. Um, that just won't happen. It takes a long time and a lot of intentional effort to build muscle. And when a lot of people say they want to tone up, what that actually means practically is building muscle. So don't be afraid to use some weights. You might just end up with the results that you actually wanted. Uh, then we're going to move on to some tricep pulls so um, carrying a weight behind the head and then lifting it up and um, so again keeping the actual upper arm nice and still and just moving the forearm as we lift that weight up and over the head for this exercise as well it's sometimes a bit more comfortable to sit against a chair say chair i mean bench um, so yeah uh, doing them seated is just a little bit more comfortable um, and allows you to just focus on the actual movement rather than keeping the core as tight as possible. Then we're moving on to the standing flies. Now these, oh boy, do not underestimate this exercise. I highly encourage you to go for the lowest weight that you can find uh, when you're first trying this. You might even not want to use any weight. They are so intense, I don't know how. They get my arms just, oh, my, my upper back, just everything just wants to say no, let us rest. So leaning forward, lifting the arms up, keeping a slight bend in the elbow as you lift the arms up till they are in line with the upper upper body and lower them back down oh my goodness you will feel this so we're doing 12 of those then we're moving on to the circuit. I love finishing a workout with a nice sweaty hit circuit to really burn some calories, get the heart rate up, get nice and sweaty. So doing some battle ropes, oh my goodness. When you're doing these, try and sit back, squat a little, but try not to kind of, you know, move your whole body. So try and keep the movement in the actual arm. So we're focusing on the upper body here. So rather than, if you notice that you're kind of bobbing up and down and squatting up and down on the battle ropes, try not to do that. Um, and then we're moving on to squat and push so getting a medicine ball and pushing that up and over the head and um, feet nice and wide weight through the heels sitting back squeezing the glutes as we get up and then moving on to some burpees so we're doing three sets 30 seconds of each exercise I'm laughing because when I get tired my headphones just annoy me my music annoys me when I'm breathless I don't know what it is and um, so yeah that's why I threw those onto the floor there uh, but we're doing three sets of um, 30 seconds of each exercise 20 seconds rest in between a few minutes between each set and yeah this this will finish you off nicely <laughs> And for the cool down, I just like to do some stretches. So this is where I really go in a bit deeper with the stretches and just get that full range of movement, but actually push it a little bit past my current limit. So static stretching to increase my range of flexibility rather than just going about the norm. So static stretching is best done daily if you want to actually see an improvement. And that's how I like to cool down after my workout. So just stretching it out, focusing on any spots that are particularly tight. And that's pretty 
pretty much it for this workout. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to let me know if you want to see more videos like this um, and if you try the workout. Also the actual workout will be written in the description box of this video so you can just like screenshot it and take it to the gym with you. Let me know how you found it and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Love you so much. Bye. Bye bye. Bye.